Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. A little bit more than a month away to the start of the Pennsylvania deer seasons. Archery season, of course, beginning of October. I've got to tell you, we're seeing a lot of deer still in velvet. We've been out and about looking for those kind of things. If you're getting excited about archery or you're going to step into it, or you just want to talk about hunting, well, how about stopping by Dunkelberger's? Jerry Dunkelberger, a proud sponsor of the show, said, stop by, we'll talk about what they're celebrating, their birthday, and the archery season. What is Dunkelberger's? Well, it's many things. We're uh, obviously very outdoor oriented. Uh, we're hunting, fishing, archery, camping, backpacking, a uh, lot of clothing, footwear. We cover, we cover the whole grommet of outdoor equipment. When it first started, how many years ago? One store, right? One store, uh, a mere 50 years ago. <laughs> Happy just, birthday. Just, just a mere 50 years ago. And uh, still having a good time with it. Still enjoy it. Still very active in the business. And um, I just, uh, I, I don't, retirement's not in the, uh, not, not on the horizon. Have no interest in it. When you opened, when you opened the store 50 years ago, you were probably one of two people maybe manning it. No, I was one of one. One of one. <laughs> one and, of one. And you've turned it into an, a Pocono empire, right? Yeah, you well, two stores. You know, Tell we, me about it. We, uh, we're two stores now. Uh, obviously, our Stroudsburg store is our flagship store. Um, not the magnitude of what this store is, but still it's our roots and um, that's well equipped just like this store but we unfortunately we don't have the display room there that we have here but um, in the Stroudsburg store were uh, a lot of guns uh, a lot of fishing tackle uh, we have a unique lady shop which is uh, run by my daughter and uh, very very nice shop uh, for the ladies and uh, new this year is a unique separate Carhartt section dedicated to just Carhartt clothing, which um, has, has come over, come off very well for us. Obviously when, you know, I started back way back in the day, the, the compound bow was just coming into existence. And, and now we're into the, the crossbow world, which is uh, really blown wide open and uh, offers a lot. And, you know, that's probably one of the things that have changed the most. And your guy in the archery department is who? And uh... Uh, my man Terry Hill, uh, just a great guy, uh, very knowledgeable, and uh, he's the guy that if, if you got an issue, you got a problem, he's the guy because uh, he he just uh, got a real long history of uh, archery repairs and sales, and um, I uh, I can't say enough about him. He's just a great guy. When somebody comes in and says I want a, a crossbow, for example, where do you start? Do you start with money? Do you start with age? Do you start, where do you start? Well, I start off right where you started, price point. What's your price point? Right, okay. Because we got crossbows nowadays. I got them from 359 all the way up to $4,000. Oh, gotcha. Uh, depending on speed, technology. And then the next next uh, next spot we hit on is age. Okay. Are you able to cock it with the standard cocking rope or are you going to need a crank right because the crank will then bump that's the increase in price we have crossbows uh, with all different crank systems when a father comes in with youth I try to say okay are you both going to shoot this crossbow oh, okay and they if they say yes then we look at crossbows that come with adjustable stocks a tactical stock they adjust so it can collapse down to a youth or a lady because right. you have lady husbands and wives shooting also and that's a good quality to look for as far, and then you can bring it, extend it out for the adult or for dad right. with the youth that's hunting. So uh, light too, right. you've got to look at the lightness. So you were saying that's what, what you're seeing is after they shoot a couple with the crossbow, they say, I want to do that, right? Right, correct. That's absolutely right. When they took the handicap only away in Pennsylvania for crossbows, they were telling guys, uh, hunters that were antis, that we need to get people more involved in archery because it was we were losing archery, mm -hmm. license sales were going down, we we're losing archery. Right. Uh, so now, 
And they also told us, you know, it's gonna, we're having, we're gonna create a mentor hunt. We're gonna allow kids to go out with crossbows with their parents, use crossbows. And they also said, you know, and it's gonna turn, they're gonna resort back or go into a vertical because they're gonna already experience that crossbow and now they wanna to go to a vertical. So at that point, yes, it's starting to evolve. We're seeing the original uh, youth that started out with mentored crossbows and now we're selling a, quite a few more vertical bows to that's that good action. to see yeah it yeah. really is so now you're you've, you're selling them you're you're helping people buy their first one but here at the shop you fix a lot too right maintenance is important and and having the right arrows all of that stuff too correct I mean with any crossbow or bow manufacturer that we represent or sell uh, I'm a uh, certified dealer uh, uh, technician for those Thank you, Terry. Very knowledgeable, Terry. I've got to tell you, if I had a problem with my bow right now, I'd be taking it down there. Again, thank you very much, Jerry Dunkelberger, and all you do for Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.